No fim de abril, a Bamboo Station veio lá das Ilhas Virgens para tocar aqui em Porto Alegre. O radar aproveitou a visita para conversar com o vocalista da banda, o Jelani Horton. Agora a gente curte a segunda parte desse papo. Um, the beautiful thing about reggae music, um, it is the most played music in the world today because it speaks to the human condition, period. Happiness, sadness, social justice, peace, um, the spirit of reggae music is about Uh, it's about humanness, it's about natural living. Uh, you don't need money to live the spirit that reggae promotes. So, for those without money, what they call the third world, um, it becomes uh, an accessible music. It's a music for all peoples. It's a music for all peoples. Uh, last year, you have uh, played here in Brazil with Mato Seco. Uh -huh. And there were some plans to record something yes. together. Yes. Did it happen? No, it did not happen. But we have been playing a song on the shows this time with Mato Seco. And um, we are going to record the song and some other songs. Um, I believe Mato Seco's musicians They're not just playing reggae music. There are a lot of bands that play reggae music. Matuseko, uh, the lead singer, Rodrigo, he's the first singer I've met that talks more than me on stage. <laughs> um, but because he's passionate and he believes what he's saying, and it seems like he's on stage for something higher than being a musician. And I can feel in the musicians of Matuseko, eh, they, have, they have it, that it, um, where they don't have to pretend. You know, they, they, they actually, it's coming out of them, you know? And so working with them has been a blessing and we look forward to doing some more works with them. Because the, the music that we play from the Virgin Islands uh, is, is within the same spirit that Matu Seiko has tapped into. And so it's a good combination. How do you see Brazilian reggae music nowadays? compared to other other countries ah brazilian reggae music i have i have met some singers uh, that live in some of the favelas in sao paulo um, and i met some of the producers i've met uh, producers in the country of brazil i've heard different bands play even though i might not be super familiar with their music All I need is five to ten seconds to hear. And um, Brazilian reggae music, I feel, is maybe, if I can compare it to a human in the teenage years, it's full of energy, it's full of passion, and it's going to just keep growing and growing and growing because um, it's good. I wish uh, some of the Brazilian bands could sing more English songs. I could listen to a Portuguese song all day, but there are people that won't give it a chance if they don't understand. And so uh, I wish that 
some of the Brazilian bands can, um, if they do a video, maybe put the English translation on a video so people can read along um, and develop a deeper appreciation for the music because Brazil is full of passion, it's full of culture. And um, um, what we're doing in the Virgin Islands is nothing new. Um, we are just playing African music. Um, and Brazil is full of Africa. And it, it's, it's, it comes out in the music. And, you know, so I think there's a lot higher uh, for the music to go, but I think they will have to tap into the English audience to really to really find that appreciation worldwide because the music is good it's good but brazil is so big they might be spoiled just playing in brazil you know but um there, there are many more places you know many more places they can travel yeah all right and i appreciate it a lot and thank you very much for this interview all right. thank you obrigado é isso aí, gente. A gente fica por aqui e o radar vai ficar ligado em todos os eventos da Massa Regueira aqui do Estado. Tchau, bless!